Hello everybody, it's me again. I didn't expect to be doing a video so soon. I've done it in a different part of the boat so you can distinguish between the two things. So I'm reading all your comments on the last video and, I'm, and they're still coming in. But there were a lot of comments from you saying that Prince Harry was actually having a lovely time at the Beyonce concert because there's exclusive footage uh, from Kinsey Schofield. Um, so I went to go and look at it and, and, and that apparently some of you said, Kinsey said that he had a great time. That's not actually what she said. They had also said she was on GB News. No, she was on Talk TV. That's the one I've just watched and I'll put a link in the description so you can all go and watch the footage. What she said was that a friend of hers videoed um, the Harry and Meghan at the Beyonce concert and that her friend had assured her that they were having a great time. Kinsey herself didn't say they were having a great time because she wasn't there. And then they played the footage and I'm sorry but my take on it is Harry was miserable. I'm sorry, no, it doesn't prove he was having a good time at all. What I see is Meghan dancing um, it's quite out of context without music so I mean she just looks bizarre as usual um, and although I can't hear music it just kind of looks like she's out of rhythm I don't know but the shots of Harry he's nowhere near her I can't see him dancing I can't see him flinging his arms around and what they were discussing on talk TV was you know should they be at a concert the day after the anniversary of Prin the death of Princess Diana and I'm not going to make a comment on that it's it was she was his mum that that's up to him how he deals with it um, or, or anyone who's had bereavement but I just thought I'd put that out there for the for the record because a lot of people because they they were saying the words that oh, oh, forgive me I don't know what the name of the interviewer is but while they were playing the, the exclusive footage of Meghan dancing and Harry in the background either talking into a phone or looking like he's pissed off and he's drinking a drink and like, God, when will this be over? Um, while they were talking, they were saying, uh, oh, he was, ha you know, he's having a blast the day after the anniversary of his mother's death. And they were discussing that. And I don't think it was intentional at all, but it's amazing how subliminally and this is what I mean by PR and I'm certain this is unintentional on Kinsey and the presenters uh, part that psychologically it comes across as if they're saying he was definitely having a good time I'm sorry I'm not buying it I'm not buying it because one of you said I uh, want you to they wanted me to know about the video and said I don't want you to be gaslit Fiona by pictures in the Daily Mail I presume of Harry looking miserable I don't feel gaslit he looks miserable in the video and he looks miserable in the photographs. And I 100% agree with the Royal Grift and her video that she did. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to that. It's only 10 minutes long, but um, as always, fabulous. And the other thing is on the previous video, I have pinned a comment because I think uh, a lot of people misunderstood when I said there's no evidence of the 2022 games on the internet. There is. There is a lot of evidence of the 2022 game Invictus games on the internet, but they are not on InvictusGamesFoundation.org, which is the official site. I will put a pinned comment, click on the link. Maybe you guys are seeing something different in other parts of the world, but I find it extraordinary when the rest of the world remembers that the 2022, in which were postponed games, did happen, the rest of the internet's in full agreement, but the official website is not. I find that as extraordinary as Prince Harry saying they never made racist allegations against the royal family during the Oprah interview. That's got to be the king, platinum gold standard of gaslighting. As always, thank you very much for listening to my thoughts and opinions. I just couldn't help this one. I just couldn't help it because you've got to sometimes watch videos more than once and really listen and look at the way it's edited to see if you're being led up a garden path or if people are depicting things the way they really are. Thank you very much for listening.